everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Lexus and this is Nam Nam to Fitness. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you some recipes that I've been eating lately. And these recipes are healthy, they're good for you, but they're delicious. It's not just, you know, fruits and vegetables because healthy foods can taste good. And I just wanted to share some, some of these recipes that I've been making on my health journey, my fitness journey, and I hope you enjoy them. So let's get into it. So this is not really a meal plan type video. This is not like me saying these are the foods that you should eat, you know, throughout the day. I'm just giving you, you know, options. Certain things to eat for breakfast that I like to eat. Lunch, dinner, dessert, stuff like that. So the first recipe is chickpea cakes with some sautéed mushrooms and spinach. This recipe is perfect for breakfast or lunch. So I'm just sautéing some yellow onions and some green peppers. And I'm seasoning it with sea salt and black pepper. I'm just going to let that cook down and now I'm adding some chickpea flour, a half cup of chickpea flour to a bowl and two third cups of water. A half teaspoon of black salt, you can use regular salt, one fourth teaspoon of black pepper and one fourth teaspoon of garlic powder. And also two tablespoons of nutritional yeast. I'm just going to give that a mix. And then we add the peppers and onions. I also added a teaspoon of minced garlic to the peppers and onions. If you feel that the batter is too thick, just add a little bit of water. The more water you add, the thinner the cakes are going to be. And now for the mushrooms, I just slice them and I'm adding some salt and pepper. Let them cook down and then I'm adding a handful of spinach. And I use cremini mushrooms, but any mushrooms would do, you know, baby bella mushrooms, regular mushrooms. And now you're just going to cook the chickpea cakes on each side until it's golden brown. About two minutes on each side, medium heat. Now I'm drizzling it with some ketchup because this is how I like to eat my chickpea cakes. And there you have it, a delicious high protein vegan meal that will keep you feeling satisfied. One of the foods that I've really been enjoying lately is homemade sushi burritos. I just love them. I stuff them with all types of veggies and I add some teriyaki sauce in the middle. So basically all the recipes that I'm using now, I had the day before because I made this yesterday. So I'll just tell you how I seasoned them. So here I'm just adding some brown jasmine rice. You want to make sure that the rice is sticky. So a jasmine rice or basmati rice. And I just seasoned that with some garlic powder and some sea salt and then you just let it completely cool because you don't want your nori sheet to melt and i just got these nori sheets from kroger's but like most grocery stores or asian markets will have them and then i just added some fresh spinach to it and some shredded carrots and sweet potatoes for the sweet potatoes i baked them at 425 for 20 minutes and i seasoned them with black pepper garlic powder sea salt onion powder and a little bit of cayenne pepper and I drizzled a little bit of oil on it and for the tofu I added some black pepper garlic powder and coconut aminos and then I just coated them in panko breadcrumbs and put them in the air fryer and I added some avocado and drizzled some teriyaki sauce on top The next recipe is a creamy penne pasta, which I absolutely love. Starting off by sauteing some peppers and onions with a little bit of oil in the skillet. But I'm also adding some mushrooms to this. And as usual, I'm seasoning it with some sea salt and pepper. Now this is optional, but I decided to add some meatless chorizo into it. I'm just creating a little hole in the middle so I don't have to use a whole bunch of dishes and I'm going to let them crisp up on one side and then gently flip them over. And now I'm adding a half cup of coconut milk and one cup of unsweetened almond milk. And I'm seasoning it with some sea salt, some black pepper, some umami seasoning that I got from Trader Joe's, some garlic powder, one teaspoon of minced garlic and two tablespoons of nutritional yeast. And then I taste it and if it tastes the way I want it to, I put the lid on it and I let it simmer for about 20 minutes and then I add the pasta. Now some people don't think pasta is healthy but nowadays it's not really the case because there's chickpea pasta, there's lentil pasta, in this case I'm using whole wheat pasta. so. There are healthy pastas out there that you can use in this recipe. Now 
and I'm topping it with some crushed red peppers and some vegan parmesan cheese. And this last recipe I made tons of times already. It's chocolate peanut butter swirl blender ice cream made from frozen bananas and it is so easy to make. So I'm adding three frozen bananas to a high speed blender. You can use a food processor and one and a half tablespoons of cocoa powder, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, and just a drop of unsweetened almond milk if it's you know, too frozen. Sometimes I let it sit out for 10 minutes. And I'm adding three teaspoons of peanut butter. This is just regular unsalted peanut butter. Now that I think about it, a pinch of salt will be good in this. And I'm just giving it a swirl and I'm adding some chocolate chips and some walnuts. The great thing about this, you can top it with anything. I used pumpkin seeds before and fruit. I'm telling you the peanut butter is so good in this because it hardens. So now you have like these peanut butter chunks inside of your ice cream. So you have to give this a try. Okay, so this is the end of the video. Please, please, please make these recipes. They're so good. That banana chocolate ice cream. Mm -mm. As you can see, I devoured the entire thing. It's so easy to make and honestly, I don't even really care about going to the store and buying ice cream anymore because it's just so good. It's rich, it's creamy, it's cold. You know, it has the texture as soft serve ice cream, but it's good for you and there's nothing better eating something that's just absolutely delicious and it's good for you so if you're an ice cream lover like I am make that ice cream so with all that being said feel free to like comment and subscribe I really appreciate it and don't forget to hit the bell button so you can be notified whenever I post a new video and that is it I will see you in my next video bye bye